If I was Simi yeah. and I want to do stuff serious because you're very friendly, yes. you're very nice. And the first time Thank I met you, you you're very nice. Thank I was afraid, like, okay, dang, this will be, if this is my sister, people would just be wanting to talk to her just to, you know, I can manage you and be with you. You know what I'm, and, saying? You know what I'm saying? Oh, oh. I've gotten the line, I want to build an empire with you. Oh, oh my God. God. What's got built? Hey, welcome to another episode of Fuel Love. You already know what it is. It's your boy, Jetpack Jeff, and I'm here with the best co-host in the game. You already know. Elena, watch out. Hey, yo. Hold up. Wait, you said there's someone better? That's impossible because hey, Trey yo. underscore top notch. We, uh... We had to calm some of those hosts down from the last episode. They were going crazy. Hey, they were. Hey, um, what's her name? What's her name now? What the drum say her name is? Uh, la, 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 la. I forgot your la, name, but la, you need to chill la, out. La, 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 no, no. What is la, the what is the name? La, la we'll find out. So, <laughs> whatever your name is, chill out for this episode. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching and listening to the episode. You can stream the, uh, this podcast on Spotify, uh-huh. Apple uh-huh. Podcast. Not title, but we'll uh, get to that uh, in a little uh, bit. Uh, we working on it. Top we're five. Top five. Top five. Hey, um, but um. Just like last guest, yeah. This one we can't hide. This like one, right smack dab in the middle of like, the couch, ladies and gentlemen. Give it up for nope, not Kayla. No, no, not Samaya. What are you talking about? But the one, the only, Simi is sitting Hello. on the couch. Yeah, Simi. Hi, hi. Simi, we love you. <laughs> What's going Thank on? Uh, nothing much, man. What's going on with you? I'm good. Look at you. <laughs> Hey. It felt like a serious question, so I feel like I just. How are you? Yeah, life's kind of kicking my ass right now, but mm. I'm mm. happy. So, hey, 2022. You know what I'm saying? 2022, we coming strong. It's been a hard year. <laughs> yes, crowd. 2021, we all about 2022 now. It's been a Moving hard on. year. It's been crazy. You so, know. ladies and gentlemen, you already know what it is. It's fuel up. Every single episode, we have a theme around every single episode, and when we have guests, they're uniquely tuned to them. And oh, today. Yeah. The Fuel Up Podcast also has the playlist that plays every episode. And this one's no different from associ- uh, not associating, but always knowing what, always going against or going with what our guest is. So, Trey. Yeah. Ready to listen to uh, this week's, I don't want to call it the mix. Listen, I'm ready to listen to some shit that's going to change my life. Well. Do it. Sometimes we get fueled up with some fire EDM, some fire low, low five beats. But uh, Oh, yeah. This week, uh, it's only right we do this with Simi. I'm a cry in the Love car. The R&B, come on. You already know last uh, last year's one of the top songs last year, "Damage" by her. Let's get it. Okay, that is all you get for free. Listen, going with the same theme. Listen, this is a little known uh, I know artist that's super duper big. I only gotta say two words: Cleo Soul. You all go. This is Fuel Up. Can whistle, damn it. What'd you say? <laughs> I couldn't whistle. I was trying to whistle. <laughs> All right, let me stop. Let me stop before we all start crying. You already know what it is, Cleo Soul. I'm glad I'm wearing glasses, <laughs> dog. <laughs> There's one more person I got to play, and you already know this theme. You already know it goes it goes big, big, and someone you probably have never heard of, but I've definitely been playing. And it's Simi, high. you might know who this is. Let me play just a little bit and say nothing. Let me see. Oh. All right, that's all you get for free. That's all you get for Ooh. free. You already know what it is. Her damaged. Cleo Soul, well, why don't you? And, of course, Brie Phil. With, uh, I hate to see it. That is all for your playlist. You really know this. And we're here with the one and only Simi. Simi. But before we get into the podcast, get into the nitty gritty and get into this purple lighting that we have in this uh, small setup, we are going to uh, <laughs> pay a little bit of bills. Simi, you going to be here? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, what's her name? Lakeisha with Twisha. What's her name again? Latwa Tanisha, man. No, we had, she had a fire name. Four part I don't name. Know. Don't I'm disrespect a, her with that. Four part name. Yes, it literally had a series behind it, a sentence. <laughs> It's super fire, but whatever your name is, you sticking around. Make sure the crowd is still around. Y'all gonna stay around? Yeah. Are they? I, I, I can't hear are. y'all. Oh, there what, you go. That's what I thought. There you go. Hey, wait. What happened to the old girl that used to twerk? You kicked her out of the studio. Oh, come on. Let me get into commercial break before you start getting us canceled. All right. We'll be right back after this. Oh, 
almost smushed that. I almost missed that. Hey, what's going on, y'all? We back again. Uh, you already know what it is. It's Fuel Up, and you're here with your one and only guest. Oh, guest. I am the up. one and only. Though. You are the one and only guest, but I'm missing up with the one and only crew of uh, yeah, Straight Tops All Day. Bro, you were like, hey, yo, listen, this keeps up. This keeps up. I'm going to need you to cut a check. And for every time you mess my, you mess it up. When you say you, you, you're here with the latest and yeah. the greatest, you yeah. need to be like you're here with the dynamic duo. There oh, you the, go. Oh, you're right. You're right. You're there right. There you go. Hey, hey, hey. Spotify, Send me how you Spotify, feel. Spotify, give me money. <laughs> you know, yeah, there we go. Let's get it. Spotify, Spotify give us money. And th- there she goes. See, you thought you could kick her out. I see. And she over my there wearing fire. What's going on, girl? Yeah. What's going on, girl? You going good? Yeah. Get, get what away was from, that? Get away from Donna. She said, oh, huh? dang, she said she needs it right after the show. Okay. Hey, don't look at me. Don't look at me. I'll take you uh, home, girl. Hey, but we're uh, here with uh, we, you. We are <laughs> one of we are here with the one and only Simi. Live it up for Simi. <laughs> Simi. Now, Simi, ladies and gentlemen, you. if you don't know who this is, stop, stop cheering, stop it. Before, <laughs> if you don't know who this is, this is uh, an R- an R and B artist that I've funny enough found out about in a Twitter space. We're finding out with a bunch of other creatives. Uh, shout out to Seven. Shout out to Ben Riley. Yeah. And all of a sudden, it's a, a nice a nice voice grace the Twitter space. One was Pope Baby, which is regular man voice. But uh <laughs> for sure. The other one was the other one was Simi, who went by Samaya. For sure. And I that gets that gets me into my first question. Okay. As of knowing you and listening to your music, mm-hmm. which is really fire, by the way. Thank you. Very much uh, fire. Thank you. <laughs> you have had a couple of changes. Uh yeah. That you alluded to on on some on some music. For sure. So, yeah. So uh what is what has um got you to now become Simi. Simi, who you are today. Um, so yeah, when I originally started doing music, I went by Kayla Samaya, which is my first and my middle name. And um, I was really sticking beside it, you know, because it's my name. Mm-hmm. You know, my family gave it to me. Yeah. Well. But, um, you know, I listen to a lot of Sade and I love her and I love how simple and smooth her vibe is. And even just her name, like you see it and it's like, oh, OK, Sade. Yeah. So I dropped Kayla. And just went by Samaya. Mm. Okay. So, yeah. So, I was switching lanes. Um, I've been on a journey of trying to figure out what my image is when it comes to the music that I create. Because yeah. I'm very creative when it comes to um, the music process. Just in general, going to the studio, writing music, all of that. Which you go a lot, apparently. I see. Every week. Yeah. Sometimes twice a week. Shout out to you. Sometimes three times, you know. Jeez. Um, <laughs> but, no. I just I, I love creating music. So, um that is kind of where my creativity lives and breathes, Mm -hmm. which is like, you know, I had a hard time when it came with my brand and my image and stuff like that. So I didn't really have an image behind Samaya. So it took some time. Like last year, I didn't drop anything. I Um, I just kind of took my time, worked on music and uh, yeah. Then Simi came about. Yeah. Who is this? I never met her. You know. So so can I ask uh, also before you continue on that? I I feel bad to interrupt. No worries. We we might have to get the Glock for this this truck driver. The the what? (laughs) The 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 who? I thought we dropped that last time. Listen, I know I said niggas talk to me different because I got a gun now, but I got a gun now, so it can go down. Stolen drums. Listen, nah, I listen, tried. I learned. Okay. Drums. I learned. I swear. I don't even say that no more. I had actually, I had a new motto I was gonna introduce mm. to the to the to the crew. And this audience participation here. Uh huh. Okay, so my new motto is my jo- new- Yo, yo, re- no. What what new motto? Go ahead. <laughs> it better be fire. I'm, I'm, <laughs> right. I'm it better be fire. <laughs> Flow like water, drink more water. No, don't applaud for that. Thank you. Don't applaud sure. for that. You. Thank sure. you. Don't shake your head at that. It's you. not bad. It's not bad right now. Okay, Flow so like look. water and drink if more water. If I gave you back yeah. your car and I was like, oh, do you want this car? It's not bad. Would you take it? Mm, I don't um, think so. Mm. You know. Come on. Yeah. Wait, Flow like water. What was it again? Me. Flow like water. This episode that's not about you, what was it again? <laughs> Oh, that's crazy. Okay. What's your book? The hate. <laughs> Yo, listen. Okay. So my other, my back then, my motto sure. was niggas talk to me different because I got a gun now. Okay. But I, I retired. That does not rhyme. <laughs> <laughs> kind of. I don't know. It doesn't have to rhyme. It's just, it's just my thing. It's my okay, motto. Okay. Sure. Like, okay. You got it. You got a gun now. Motherfuckers going to talk to you different. Mm. Are they? They should. In Atlanta? In 2022, he's trying to come up with. Niggas talk to me different because I have a gun now and trying to make that on shirts. That's real. Mm. I don't think anybody's going to talk to you different. <laughs> they should if you have it's, a gun, Simi. But they're not. But why wouldn't they? It's a gun. Do they know you have a gun? No, well, if 
you know do you announce know. that you have a gun i don't know i don't need to announce it I don't, okay i don't know if that's the so they don't know that you have a gun but so when they I know just, i got a gun when will they find talking. out though? when they see the gun Again, this is an episode about Simi, by the way, y'all. I'm so. sorry. I'm sorry. I just had to. <laughs> he wanted introduce to introduce that. his but, new motto, but not even just the motto. What I was really gonna ask is, so with the with the constant, with the different changes in names, sure. Do you feel like a new persona enters the fray as well, because I feel like a lot of times when artists do different name changes, it's also because they change their persona, their aspect mm. in life. I mean, you see, like with Beyonce, she had Sasha Fierce, yeah, you know, for sure. stuff like that. Who? Like, Sa- Sasha. Sasha. Fierce. Sasha Fierce. What's that mean? That's that her, her alter ego. Alter ego. Really? I didn't know yeah. that. It, I'm not behind her. I'm going to leave my comments to myself. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, no. So at the end of the day, like I'm very transparent and open within my music. So it's always going to be true to self. Um, I think I reached another level of confidence within myself because I didn't really grow up like the most confident person. Like I knew I was cute. I knew I could sing, but like eh, the confidence wasn't really there and I didn't really see it. So um it took a lot of groundwork for me as an adult. And so Simi is the confident person that I have to be as artist. And, mm. and I mean, it's me, it's who I am, but it's just a new twist to it, a new identity to it, I guess. Well, I love it because it's one syllable. But uh, <laughs> not, you th- you laughing, but I love who. That what's more fun to say? Go talk to Simi. I never said Simi. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's not one syllable. My bad. It's two and syllables. I've, yeah, it's two syllables. I've gotten a lot of nicknames since I've changed Sim, it, so. Simi. Yeah. Sim and Sim Sim. Simi Otto, Simi. Young Simi. Ah, hold on, where's the guns at? <laughs> yeah, hey, yo. I can't say your catchphrase because we'll get canceled, but whatchamacallit? That would have wanted to fire. Big Sim. Hey, can we call it? I like Big Sim. Yeah. I also just remember. Is that something. a new one? Is that a first? Um, we're going to add that to the list because it's a long list at okay. this point, and I just announced it, so I don't know. Okay, we're going with Big Sim. Big <laughs> now, before Simi became Simi, there was someone I actually listened to. Listen to this old music. Well, not old because it was literally just last year, but uh, this is who I need to introduce it to. This is the now known Simi. By the way, I was working out hard at this music. Oh, I got to hear this. This is my love child. Ooh, feel up. Wake me in the morning before I'm thrown in. I watch the sun like it's the city and I'm growing to love myself now, to love myself round. Release the pressure, fills my lungs and chest. But also vibrant, running my fingers through my hair. I like the tension, no more attention on the things that fail. I'm headed towards the other way, baby. I want you near me, holding me closely. Wrap me in. Yes, I know, I know, it's fire, and I'm cutting you off. But this, this is my baby right here. This, this is my song. Listen to this real quick. This is like this. Played it once before, season one. Season two is making a comeback. Check it out. Before you left the city, you should make time Hit up Debney Drive in the 2-5 Now I see you switching up the paradigm So tell me what's more important to you Are you friends with me? I'm on tune with the views I see you on the scene, but the scene ain't for you How would you know if you ain't come through? I've been focused, trying to make my way You make time for what you want, they say but this vision is molding my priorities You know I'm not gonna cut it off till the, till the hook comes on Y'all, y'all not in for a treat, hold on, listen to this I told y'all I was gonna like this Y'all didn't think that I would like this I told y'all I was gonna like this Alright, that's all you get for free, that's all you get for free Like this and feel me when I heard this, I was like, oh, she isn't just some someone that's just on, on Twitter, or whatever. Yeah. Super talented R&B artist. Thank Bad you talented. so much. Nine more nine fire, you. more fire, more fire. 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 Oh, I need to get that. <laughs> I need to get that. Son, more fire. That'd be fire. Yeah. I, I told you I do the I do the voice. I do the vocals for it. I, I just, please. Well, I appreciate it. I appreciate it. But I back to 
I need one more of those. Let me crush you real quick. What, what was that? Uh, what, what's up? What was that thing, my barber? What's up? That uh, that more thing fire? Just, yeah, more fire. Yeah. That's there, more that. fire, more fire, more fire. You need to listen to leave leave a blah, 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 leave a message on. <laughs> Yes, for sure. You need All to of to that it. before that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. Uh, when I listened to this, I was actually pretty surprised and shocked that I haven't ran into it before. So let's talk about that real quick. The music from last year. Yeah. When well, you put it from out. 2020, technically. Oh, my bad. Oh, yeah. yeah two years, two years ago. I mean, yeah. It was the end. Of t- it was in December of 2020. So. Okay. Yeah. So close enough. Yeah. 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 Um, yeah, so I worked with these twin producers uh, named Dope Narteria. Um, that's who I do all my music with, honestly, because they're just so brilliant. Um, Shout out to the dopes. Yeah. <laughs> we got in this studio and because um, they came across my song Pressure, which I put out, I think, in 2019. Mm-hmm. Um, and they hit me up and was like, oh, we want to play that. We want to spin this because they DJ too. And then oh, after wow. that, uh, we did a show together. Um, and then after that, they were like, we want to work together. So got in the studio and just made beats from scratch. And I wrote to them, which that was the first time I ever done that. Really? It was a beautiful process. I, I see. Yeah. The scenario <laughs> skit had dying. Who is that? The, one the, of the twins. One of the twins? <laughs> yeah. Okay, yeah. So did they, they made those beats? Like, yes, from yeah, from you scratch. You were there when they made yes. it? Yes. Like, mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. we that do four-hour sessions. So You do what? Four-hour sessions. Oh, I thought you said 24. I was like, no, whoa. No, 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 no. They would, get, ever... they would throw me out. I'd stay that long. <laughs> I would stay that long, but they throw me out. Yeah, That's for it. sure. Have you ever like? Have you ever had a long, super long session like oh, that? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sometimes we go to six hours. Like... <sighs> Sometimes. Sometimes. Come on now, <laughs> The that's, music shows. That's crazy. Yeah. Four hour sessions. It, yeah. When you put like time into your into your mm-hmm. artwork. I'm oh sure yeah, four yeah. four is the minimum. So the yeah. minimum. Yeah. Are you, ladies and gentlemen, are you hearing this? <laughs> that's crazy. I mean, what are you doing if you're not in the studio for four hours, bruh? Oh, well, that's true. Unless you just unless because the thing about it is we are building these beats from scratch. Mm-hmm. We're listening. We're recording. We're going back to other things. So you know. Um, I can understand if you're not in a session for four hours, if you're not like building a beat from scratch, like if you're just going to record something and you know now, what you're, you're going to record. If you're recording for four hours, you're getting a, like a whole EP, if not an album done already. No, you know what? No, I, I'm not. No, no I'm, I'm taking my your, time. Your process is, yeah, no. how long do you think it takes you to record a song? Um, Probably two, two to three hours, just because it's like I'm, harmonies, ad libs, you know, I got to listen to it okay this doesn't feel right let's go fix that like you know those okay. kind of things so i'm not gonna lie i think i've seen too many sh- i think i was i'm not drawn away because yeah four hours is it makes sense for a lot of artists but you know what i'm used to editing it's, for no 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 no, no, oh, no, no, no no i know a little bit i'm not in the studio with y'all you know but what, <laughs> what i think is funny because i do see sometimes i'll be in studios with a little bit or lower artists that have not been playing on this podcast before mm-hmm. um and they take one and a half hours to waste time you know and talk and do nothing even though they're paying for it and smoke and don't build no beat because they already bought oh the beat. God, or they have I, to find the beat that they don't have the royalties to. You know, something like that. I something got a stupid. story about that. I'll, I'll tell it later, but yeah. But definitely. what talk saying that though, do you have a, since you've been in the studio every single week on my, on my Instagram, yeah. seeing you going crazy. <laughs> is there now an, uh, an etiquette that you just boom, 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 go into like a, a role that you yeah. you already running? have like presets made for you and everything? Oh, uh, no, 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 no. We're building everything from scratch. What we do is um, I go into the studio. My first question is like, how you doing? Got to ask them how they're doing. You know what I'm saying? I'm just, I'm up, interested. Man? I, I got to know, <laughs> I got to know where your headspace is at. Cause if you're not feeling good, then this session might not go good. And, yeah. and that's okay. That's like that's, 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 that's not a bad thing, but like I got to work, I got to know what I'm working with. Yeah. So yeah, I like to go in just ask them how they, how they're doing, how, what they've been on. Um, so we talk a little bit, not too long though. It's like, 15, 20 minute conversation. Then we getting into it. That's There's nothing wrong, um, wrong with long conversation. I would just no, talk yeah, about yeah. them. Yeah. There's nothing wrong with words <laughs> yeah. for you. Yeah. Um, short, keep it short. Which we have, we have had one session where we did talk for a couple of hours, but that's a rarity. We're yeah. usually getting into it. Um, and the conversation, once I ask them how they're doing, we kind of just flow into like, okay, well, what do we want to make music about today? Like what are, what's on our minds? What's on our hearts? Um, and then we talk about it. So I usually give them a, either a word or I tell them what's actually going on. A word, wow. Lately, it's mm-hmm. been what's actually going on. I've, I've been a lot more transparent with them this go round. So, uh, so which the first go round, I was transparent. I just would probably be like, oh, I'm feeling shitty today. You know what I'm saying? And okay. I wouldn't say exactly what was going on, but this time I'm telling them exactly what's going on. And oh, then wow. from that, uh. they 
start picking sounds and and constructing whatever like i it's like they see things in their head when i talk I producers don't know, are a different type of vibe yeah, in general. Like, that's, twins. that's yeah. a that's another level of creativity that i will not tap into oh it's I don't wild it. Yo, i'll see the twins just like they'll like literally they'll find like a sample or a sound or like just a snare or anything mm-hmm. you ever see like they ever like like spend like 30 minutes on a snare Yes. Yeah. No, for just sure. Like fucking no, it's me. crazy. <laughs> it's crazy. I I've learned to write while they're just doing whatever they're doing because oh, they'll yes, you have they, to. yeah no they they take their time and I appreciate it because they they are peeling through sounds mm-hmm. just trying to make sure like mm, this don't feel right mm. and we'll go back to things too like we don't always finish a, a song within a session like sometimes we'll kind of get the meat and bones of it and then the next session let's go back to it or we'll go to something else or whatever but yeah no. They're very intentional and, and you know, they're on top of it. So. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like, I, I, I've had that moment where, you know, like one of my homeboys, shout out Jay Black, he like, we were like making a whole beat, right? And the next thing you know, like, he's like on a, like on a snare and like the whole time he's doing that snare, like I, I for a second, I, I had to realize, oh, I should probably just start writing, like do my no, own No, for thing. sure. Because if like, you're waiting for that sound to stop, oh my it's God, not going it stop. Won't. It's not. And, the, and they'll just, same pattern, same track line. And they'll just be like, it's just something awful. About yeah. It. Like, yeah, your, your, your ears. Yeah. Probably- <laughs> Look at y'all talking over yeah. my head. I, would, I don't think I ever let nobody see me edit at all. So I'm, I'm just going over my head. <laughs> see, oh, you'd be so surprised. One of these days, just, just like you got a homeboy, just go to the studio where they're making a beat. Mm. You'll be like, why are you on that same snare or that same clap or that same hi hat? And they'll be like, I just, it's just this thing. And mm-hmm. you don't think about it until they finish the beat. And then sounds like, like oh, fire. Man. Sounds like they know. Sounds like they, uh, they passionate. That's why they no, get paid the sure. big for sure. For sure. Shout out to the twins. Uh, yeah, I, I told criteria. you. Y'all got to yeah. tap in with them. Hey, last question because I do got to go to commercial, but I'm tossing to Trey. Trey, we got like mm, three minutes. You got okay. anything else before we go to commercial break? Oh yeah, yeah. Um, and actually, a question for you. So, in the process of like doing all of these things with your music and mm-hmm. whatnot, any historic landscapes or places you've been at in the midst of you know discovering your music that have inspired you? Somewhere you would recommend other artists to check out or things that have just been really powerful moments for you? Driving on the highway is like that place for me. It's not Atlanta traffic. Seventy five, eighty five. No, no, no. Like, <laughs> like oh, you be looking at Ted. We're like, oh, Ted. No, no, no. <laughs> no, like you um, be on phone. Like, like three a.m. So like <laughs> at three a.m. Take a drive. Oh, okay. you know what I'm okay. saying. Not the varsity. You know what I'm saying. Oh, look at the varsity. God, <laughs> no. You see that V? You be no. Like, um, and then I will say another place that is just so breathtaking was Denver. Really? Denver? Oh been. my goodness. Oh my goodness! Me. I mean, I would think with the mountains and everything like that. Yeah, I was in the city, so I didn't really see that. Oh, but okay. <laughs> okay. never mind, never mind, never mind. But it's so clean. Like if you go on their downtown really? area, so clean. The only trash I saw on the ground was like a Dasani water bottle. Really? It was clean. It was okay, crisp. Denver. Dasani, I, give us money. Yeah, and it's mm. cold. <laughs> it, it, it is. It is cold there, but it's, it's. I don't know. It's just so light, and there was such a freedom there, and the sun is always shining. Like, really? yeah. Um, when I went, came across not a lot of black people just fyi um <laughs> but i but i came across two and so they were dancing and stuff like that so i definitely waited till they got done dancing and then approached them and had a conversation and one of them said that they moved there because it was like over 300 days of sunshine and then wow. of course you can smoke oh, but i was like that's shit. a beautiful reason to like move somewhere that's okay. enough of a reason yeah, that's no, for half sure. the reason why half my friends live uh, in Colorado yeah. or Denver now. All right, yeah. Jeff, we're packing fuel up to Colorado. Let's do it. Hey, who? Me? It's a me, beautiful you. place. Out of all this freaking hard work that Donna has put into the podcast, we'll see. Donna, we'll see. can you allow that? Donna, go on. Oh, she gone. <laughs> 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 Ladies and gentlemen, we're here with Simi. But before we go, I got to go on one more commercial break, pay a little bit of bills. But before that, and while you're listening to this fire ass beat from Stolen Drums that I stole from Stolen Drums, it's so the- funny. You told him about it too. He, he just like, said I stole he- from Stolen. He oh, like- I'm gonna address that real quick. By the way, I said it to him. He said, "Yeah, that's it. That's all he said." <laughs> yeah. Anyway, we're gonna go into a little commercial base. We're here with Simi. You already know what it is. We will be right back after, after, after this commercial break. You listening to Fuel Up? Here we know it is. 
Well, you know what it is. The dopest beat on the dopest podcast in the dopest game. I'm here with Trey underscore top notch. You already know what it is. Applaud the boy. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Hey, Silencio. And we also got Simeon. <laughs> you see how good they are? <laughs> yeah. Give us applause for yourselves. Y'all crazy. All right, now stop. All right, perfect. Now we <laughs> can't keep up. And yeah. we got we got uh, newly integrated into the lock community yeah. and fire underground R and B artist, mm-hmm. my favorite underground R and B artist right now, Simi. Hello, I'm so glad you mentioned that. I love these little babies. Well, Big Simi, <laughs> got to got to lock game. Look, I can't shake them right now. They locked up. Thank, yeah, I can't. Like, thank Mine you, Mama. Ain't that long? It don't, it don't matter. It don't matter. You know, <laughs> Simi, Sam, Sam. <laughs> uh, but we got some quick hitters to ask you before we get you out of here because we are okay. holding up your precious time. You know. Uh, before we start that off Trey you already know what we do We've done yeah. this every single week yeah. We can't do a podcast without playing this fire Old school beat Oh, You know what I'm talking about Hold Come up. on And you know what Who wants to go first You want to go You want to go first or me I mean I'm going to let you do the honors Because I feel like I feel like I kind of I feel like the motto Did enough earlier today True 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 Okay okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Well ladies and gentlemen We're going to hit here with some two work, Some quick questions Because this is the people's court. Oh wow! <laughs> so, well, well, well. Gotta sit well, up for that. Mm, hold on, let me let me get serious real quick. What the heck was that? Hold on. <clears throat> yes. Now, Simi, four yes. questions for you. Number okay. one, what sets you apart here as an R and B artist? Actually, what sets you apart? Period. Energy. Mm. Yeah, I'm a very vibrant person. I've known that for a long time. Very genuine, very vibrant. Not saying other people are not. You're definitely mm. genuine. You know what I'm saying? You're just not as vibrant as me. <laughs> my aura. <laughs> but no, like seriously, like my aura is just, you know, that girl. You that, know, girl. Mm. that girl. I love it. Where were you on the day of today? I'm just <laughs> Yes. I was at the house. Yeah. <laughs> No, listen. No, you never. No, no interview. Okay, cool. I would. I thought y'all knew. No. So I have to ask too. Um, I, I consider your your work ethic. The, the well, that's not really done. very into. In, uh, uh, what's it called? Uh, investigational. I'm not playing this music for no reason for these happy Fine, questions. Fine. This is very it. serious you questions. Ask it. Fine. Go ahead. What does uh, Peter Street mean to you? Mm. Oh, well, I had my That Girl art show off of Peter Street. So, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> All right. So, you know, yeah, the art box. I had it at the art box ATO that happened, um, you know, this past look, November. Thank you for coming, by course, the way. I, I appreciate the, the support. Shout out to the videographers that was hitting me, that watched me do this. Yeah. So I, was just, I really was just feeling myself. Uh, very fire event. I would Thank love to you. Yeah. Thank you. More to come, you know. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I love that. <laughs> Another question. Yeah. In regards to that girl, explain yeah. that girl. Um. So that girl is a platform that I created. Um. Based on the fact that you know women in Atlanta don't really get a lot of attention and appreciation oh. as creative. So oh. I wanted to create a space by us for us. Um. So yeah, that's the platform. Um. We've done two shows so far which was last year. Um, the first show was a showcase. So we had musical artists, myself included, because I'm always going to be on the bill, mm-hmm. you know? <laughs> um, and then uh, later on, you know, in November, we did an art show and, you know, we had performances, but um, the art pieces that were displayed, all female artists. Oh, yeah, true. true. So, mm. you know, it was great. Love really great. Energy. Yeah. Love the energy. Oh, love the energy? Yes. Love the energy? So what's it like being a woman here in um, <laughs> in the music industry, huh? What's it like being a female? Um, you know, excuse me, trash. Excuse me, underground. Woman, woman. No, just not underground. Just just being a woman in music. I don't know what it's like. So tell me. Um, you know, it's it's a little rough. Um, yeah, I think I'm gonna de- definitely in a better place now. But starting out, I feel like there were a lot of um, experiences where you know I could easily, or I guess people were trying to finesse and mm. and take advantage and try to become a manager, but also. Um, um, you know, try to get in my pants. Oh, I was a about lot to ask. Of that. Uh, I was about to ask the question. A lot of that. That's the one. Oh, that's you know the what one I'm right saying? There. <laughs> yeah. I mean, what is that sound? It, it's still, Which one? The the <laughs> the cash the register. The Which one are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> yes, These that one right there. Uh, I was about to. I was about to say. I know these are quick hitters. But I was what you would call it about to ask like being an artist. If I was Simi mm. and I want to do stuff serious because you're very friendly, yes. you're very nice. And the first time Thank I met you, you you're very nice. Thank I you. was afraid like okay, dang, this will be if this is my sister, people would just be wanting to talk to her just to you know I can manage you and be with you. You know what I'm, and, saying? You know what I'm saying? Oh, I've oh. gotten the line. I want to build an empire with you. Oh, so many God. times. 
we Let's got build. The <laughs> down bad boys. The down bad boys are back. No, yeah. yeah. Let's build. Let's create. I'm I'm about you. <laughs> Let's create you. Fuck yeah. with me. Fuck with me. Yeah, the famous Fuck F- with me. WM. <laughs> Fuck with me. Fuck with me. So, yeah, yeah, it's been a lot of those experiences. They still happen, but, you know, I've learned a lot since first moving here. So, you know, I'm not a naive little girl anymore. Child Wrong woman. Respect. Got my granny panties on, you know. Respect. Let them know. Let them know. <laughs> more fire, more fire. You to Trey? Now you? Yes. Well, one of my uh, leading questions into sure. that. Has there ever been a time you've had to play hardball you know to get where you have been or are now and are going to what are some things that you would want to give other women uh in their positions of power and growing into the field what would you what would you want to tell them what are some ways to help inspire them to make sure they take they take no shit very seriously Don't yeah trust your gut like if it's a question yeah like whatever the question is you're probably right like your your gut is probably telling you like no that's a questionable mm -mm, nah mm -mm. yeah don't don't go how do you handle towards those, that uh, how do you handle those red flags oh well you know i love red flags so you know i dive deep into them <laughs> <laughs> i dive I, I dive very deep into them and then i learn my lesson after the fact you know what i'm saying oh, you're a learner okay yeah i am i am very much so a learner um i have to fall on my face to figure it out and that's it's that's just real be, though. But I love this transparency. I love this transparency. The thing about like, it is, it's because I'm like such the person that I'm like, oh, but it's gonna work out for me, you know? Because it's me. Yeah. No. Okay. I like that. I like that. <laughs> no, I, like I was that. with that. What you mean? <laughs> it's me. It's gonna work out. What you mean? No, I like that. That's mad powerful. Yeah. Like, yeah. It's just basically like it's like saying like I'm not gonna fail because I'm me. Big That's facts. a mad confidence. Big facts. Yeah. Big energy. Like yeah. Can we get two, two, two gunshots for that before I get Two gunshots. Two gunshots. <laughs> Fire. Fire. <laughs> but yeah, Fire. Just, just trust your gut, honestly. Like, it's it's not going to steer you wrong. You have intuition for a reason. Anything, so uh, listen to it. Anything that you would tell younger you now? I Girl. always like asking this question. Um. Yeah. I would, I would tell my younger self that you got it like whatever you're doubting yourself in like just understand you got it even the people around you they gonna doubt you a little bit but girl you got it big facts i love that i love that <laughs> can we get a round of applause for that beautiful and amazing and just 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 breathtakingly where the fuck the crowd at that's what i thought look at them y'all are bullying the crowd and I, just, <laughs> we got I don't bullying. understand why it's like double the people from la first episode I, I literally i feel like they only came they specifically came for, for semi yeah. we're in the middle of a pandemic half you dudes are not gonna be here next episode that's freaking nuts anyway. you can't build an <laughs> empire over here get the fuck on right, but shout out to y'all hey next question Ooh. actual <laughs> fact <laughs> they heard that they heard that <laughs> Let me get back into my serious bag real quick. My serious bag real quick. These are super duper unique questions for the unique semi. Yeah. Oops. What the oh. heck? Oh, what the heck was that? I love that. You like that? That was bright. That was. Nah, serious mode. What is it like to work with, with other women, being a woman yourself? It's amazing. Like, and and honestly, I hadn't dived into it until I created the That Girl platform. Like, I've I've been on stage, of course, with other artists mm -hmm. and like, shared the stage with other artists, but never really worked with them that often. And so That Girl really gave me the opportunity to do that. And every girl that's been a part of it has been um, just on, honestly on the up and up. Like, they're so dope. But they're so bold and talented. Really and are. so it sucks that they don't get there just do, but it's going to come in time. Shout out to them, though. Yeah, for it's, sure. I genuinely have said this a multitude of times to my friends and stuff like that. And some of them are, I, I'm loading, I'm, I'm kind of learning her a little bit on the weird side. I, I can say that. Um, <laughs> but I said, like, I think this is the age of, like, woman. Like, this is the time where, like, it's about to be a takeover. And it should be. It's been, it's been a, it's takeover, been a takeover, takeover for sure. I think globally it's been a takeover. I think um, on, on just, like, the underground level, we have a lot a lot more to do yeah you sure. knew some but, shit was about to like really change with yeah. the whole kamala harris thing mm -hmm. which is you know stacy abrams doing what she did yeah to things that like georgia yeah. becoming a blue state mm -hmm. i ain't very political and i'm not gonna get political i'm just simply <laughs> stating that that's very powerful movement yeah made for by sure women. So, yeah yeah it's lovely to see not fun lie. fact did yeah. you know the first ever uh bulletproof vest was created by a woman by a woman really that's yeah. hard kevlar it was created by a woman. Shawty well, protecting your life. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to lie. Them R&B men are in the top right now. You know how it comes to the, the biggest R&B artist. And uh, 
the men need some bulletproof vests right now because the women again they I mean the women are kicking the men's ass. No 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 shade, Lucky Day. No shade. Uh, <laughs> no shade. Hey yo, don't you shade nobody named Lucky nothing because. I fuck with Lucky Day. I do too. But well, why is why is Ari Lennox and let me not say all the names. I'm sorry. Oh, because she's an Aries, quite like. Oh, myself. not this. Oh, oh no, God. we gotta do this hey. to us. Next question, huh? We're going straight back into it. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> we talking underground. Let's actually get back into it real quick. Yeah. How is it being an underground R and B artist? I have hung out with the lat for the last two years with yeah. some of my favorite underground. Uh, hip hop artists. Shout out to Ben Riley. Shout out to Kenny Mason. Shout out to Candle Artisan. Shout yeah. out to Jay Newton. Shout out to uh, Amon Anonymous. I ain't, I ain't about to say the rest of y'all, but shout out to them. Trill. I've had some trill. <laughs> so I had trill. To. I had to. But uh, shout out to Lakewood. He's gonna say some shit. Yes. Um, but out of all of them, I haven't delved into the R and B space. Now sure. I met you. Love your music. I can't say it enough. But what is the R and B underground space like? I don't know that for R and B artists, um, especially here in Atlanta, music state. I would say it's not as consistent, I guess, as far as like um, there are a lot of there are a lot of shows in Atlanta, but a yeah. quality caliber, you Ooh. know what I'm oh saying? Oh my gosh! It's, Thank it's, you. It, it's not a lot that I would say for R and B artists, so we definitely appreciate them when they come around. Shout out um, Lotus Rosary. Mm, shout out Lotus Rosary. But um, yeah, so. There's a whole list of R&B artists that I could really put you on to. Mm-hmm. Because, um, you know I'm what I'm waiting. saying? I'm waiting. Go ahead. <laughs> I love the you investigate. Know what I'm, <laughs> I'm just going to drop a few names real quick, okay? Mm-hmm. Because you got Shamba, the yes. artist. Yes. Familiar? Okay, 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 cool. You already know Brie Phil. Cool, cool, cool. Let me put you on to Mashaya. Ooh. Okay. All right. Mm-hmm. Shawty, Shawty's very soulful. You know what I'm saying? She was she performed at the art show. Queenie La Soul. She does oh, rap and R and B. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah. Destiny Brianna. Simone Salise. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So that's just that's just a few. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Feel okay. jazz. Hold on. Let me. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I, I could keep going, but I'm gonna slow down. That's slow down. that's a lot of you know love though, and I and I appreciate Listen. that. Listen, being an you being an artist and knowing your artist and yeah. showing love to your artist, that's that's dope. because they're all brilliant. Like I pay attention to the people that are around me. I'm very mm-hmm. focused on self for sure. You know what I'm saying? I have I have, you know, my own personal goals, but I love them. Like all of them all, like rap artists and R and B artists have been a part of my journey as far as like um just figuring it out in Atlanta. Like all of them have played a part whether big or small so yeah. it's like i gotta show love and like they're so dope so why would i not you because. know and i love that again i have to give you your flowers as an Thank artist you. showing love to other artists that is not a very like common thing to come by yeah much like and a lot of people don't know this i can't speak for every artist but mm-hmm. a lot of artists don't show love like that a lot of artists don't put other artists on their platforms mm-hmm. or give them their their social media outtakes or just show yeah. love in general you would be so hard pressed to find an artist that reposts another artist if they weren't paid for it and you're putting them on a platform yeah helping them gain and garner a name and getting an audience and a fan base that's actually extremely because great. at the end of the day my blessing is my blessing like mm-hmm. me showing you love is not going to stop that so it's beneficial at all times yeah. if you help a person it's, it's a benefit yeah. so that's yeah and That's they're helping dope. me. I learned a lot from them. Like even with the first show that I did, we did rehearsals for that um, because we're doing we're going on tour this year. Um, oh, what? Hold on. What? Damn, son, where'd you find this? Now. Yes, I am putting. I'm I'm just really getting to into my creative bag, but also my grown woman, boss woman. You know, oh, like I business woman bag. Let me stop you one more time. She said she's going on tour, y'all. Come on, <laughs> let's go. Come on, now. So, tight shit. So yeah, so that girl is um, going on tour. And and so I'm taking the girls that performed at the art show with me. Mm-hmm. And um, yeah, we did rehearsals for the first show just to get a feel of like how it was going to flow and, and everything like that. And throughout the entire time, like even though I'm like having to play like businesswoman, boss woman, I have to like, you know, focus and navigate different things and put these pieces together. I'm also in the middle of rehearsal, like paying attention, watching, like, you know, grooving to what they got going on um, just so I can learn from them because I'm no expert. Like yeah. at any level, I'll be able to learn from somebody, even mm-hmm. if somebody considers them like lower than me or whatever, you know? So, so send yeah. me um, idea records. Yeah. What is that? Yeah, so um, Idea Records, uh, that's actually oh, one, of my, one of my... <laughs> <laughs> if he reposts this, I'll be well, so happy. 
Yeah, so well, his business is officially called Idea Media Productions, but um, his name is Amir. And um, yeah, he's one of the partners um, that's a part of that girl. Dope Norteria, too. Um, so yeah. Uh, dope, shout out Amir. Yeah, 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 yeah. They're partners in it, um, helping me fund it. So that's that's wow. a beautiful thing. Um, so yeah, they, they've been a part from the beginning. I had this idea. Um, Simone actually is the reason that I even got in touch with uh, Idea Records, which is why really? like R and B community is very they're lovely people. Okay, um, that's good. Thank yeah, you for, yeah. for clearing that up. <laughs> yeah. I, I've always wondered about that. I only yeah. uh only R and B like underground artists I knew knew of was like a Kaylin Bree and then maybe like a few other individuals. Mm -hmm. Very few. Yeah. I like, genuinely did not know the I'm telling you, there's so many of us. Nigerian Doe. I, I met her. She's cool. Like mm -hmm. just people like that. And that was just through like small like i guess outskirts of different yeah. events like there was an event called dope sounds they used to do mm -hmm. so shout out jamie cornelia and all of them but like had not, had i not have known that i would never have known that like that's still a very prominent thing yeah it deserves so much love yeah mm. so. well i'm gonna have to deep you know i didn't hear all those all those artists you shout out so i'm gonna go back and deep dive deep dive for sure <laughs> yeah. deep dive. So, shout out to them though um now i don't want to keep up too much of your time because it is time to go but but as the recording of this podcast this is a world premiere it probably is already in your phone world right now premiere, premiere, i don't want to premiere. premiere something that isn't my product for so sure. simi what is this i'm about to play yeah so um this is my first single of the year this is my reintroduction to the world as simi um and this is my single called aura you heard it here first ladies and gentlemen this is aura Live world premiere, blah, 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 blah. world premiere on the Feel of Podcast. Take a listen. Hey, looking for no Louboutin. I'm just hoping you can understand me. I know you see this purple around me. I know that you have finally found me. Hey, looking for no Louboutin. I'm just hoping you can put it on, on, on. Mirror to mirror again, mirror me memory Cause I'm having this feeling once again May we consider but won't give you a second chance Cause it was yes, yes, yes But you can't see the vision and I can't make you witness I can make you feel away cause that is your decision oh. For free. For free. That is in your phone right now. The new introduced Simi. You're on the podcast. And that was Aura. 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 Excuse my, excuse my broken. <laughs> Orba. Aura. Speaking of Aura. Been and I got a yours. beautiful yes. Aura. Like, you know yeah. what I'm saying. Ladies and gentlemen, I know I told you to stop. But let's do it. Let's get it. Yeah. Yeah. Show the love. Show the love. Show the love. Hey, she's back. Let's 
put Tanisha LaQuinta. Oh, we're going to find out her name so we don't LaQuinta. sound so bad. It's LaQuinta. No, it's not LaQuinta. It ain't LaQuinta. She's going to stop showing up here. Well, we, we That's actually her together. name. We didn't we're, make we're it. We're trying man. to remember man. it. <laughs> we're trying to remember. It's a Tell fire her ass her name. Tell her name tag next time. All right, we cool. definitely need you to get her name But she nodding. She nodding. She know what it is. We're going to get you one. We got you, girl. We got you. But we got thank you, Simi, for being on the podcast. Yes, Give me some thank more, you some for more having me. I really appreciate it. This is lovely. No, this was <laughs> it's a long time coming, honestly. I really yeah. wanted you on the podcast. Just wanted that nice time to ask. So I'm happy. Well, this was the it. perfect time to ask. Definitely. Like, thank like, you. Genuinely gotta say, I did not know much about much. I was like, yo, Jeff, I, I need you to send me some information yeah. so I can understand and learn. And I went and I deep dived into your music, your sound, Thank and you. seeing the journey and yeah. just loving the that girl thing that you're experiencing. Just becoming your own CEO, your own dynamic boss, your yeah. own, just creating your own sound, the growth, all of it. Love it. Thank you. Continue Thank doing you. what you're I doing. appreciate you Thank you. Of course. <laughs> of course. Now, ladies and gentlemen, before we go, you already know what it is. You got to go ahead and heart this on Spotify. Go yeah. ahead and give it five stars on yeah. Apple Music. Top five, top five, top five. On Apple Podcasts. Any other streaming service that you happen to see this on, go ahead and uh, rate it up. And if you're watching this on YouTube, what's up? You go ahead and put it, give it a like. Go ahead and subscribe. Niggas and make sure you show some love to Simi. She got a new song that's on your phones right now. Yeah, all, all platforms me. on everything. This is for me now. This ain't even for them. They don't even know what I'm talking about. Follow me at <laughs> Simi Says Look at everywhere. <laughs> Simi, you said Simi Sims? Simi Says. Simi Says Simi everywhere. Says. And Trey, yeah, we did hear you. Look at you. Say at the wrong moment, right when I stopped talking. <laughs> Damn. I'm sorry. I just, niggas talk to me different because I got cut out. No, heck they no. Don't. We're canceling they don't. that. Yeah. Simi, say it right now. We canceled Yeah, that. canceled. Thank you. And I don't even can't. cancel people. Canceled. Canceled, canceled you. That? Hashtag canceled. stop that. Canceled. Damn. You already know what it is. Uh, we'll be back next. the first time I ever got canceled on the My motto. Oh. Get out. <laughs> Donna, can we wrap him up, please? <laughs> Come on, don't do that. But we're going to get Simi out of here. Listen, but before we go, I know you said you love. I am ruined for everything that goes on this year for you. Thank I already you. know you're going to do well. So I don't even, you don't even need that, really. Aww, thank but you. that I girl's going to do well, and Simi's going to do well. So I'm ruined for that. But until next time, we'll see y'all with the next guest or the next person. You already know what it is. Trey, we out of here. You already know. You already know. Top five, top five, top five. We out of here. We gone. We sold. No, 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 no. We're not ending the podcast. What? Like, heck no. What? Heck no. We're not ending it like that. Can I not, like, leave off on, like, like love and energy? And oh, yeah, my bad, my bad. Yeah, love that, yeah. You, yes. you like that? Yes. Yeah, can we start it over? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we out of here. Nah, nah I don't you, like it. Nah, I don't nah, like it. No. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I'm playing. We'll see y'all next time. All right. My cheeks genuinely hurt. From smiling too much? Yes, I love that. Yeah, that's what we do.